hello and welcome back to David's Closet. On this channel we talk about handbags, accessories, small other goods, all of those fun things from the male point of view and on a budget. If that's something that's interesting to you, please subscribe to my channel. As always, I'm working hard to grow it. Um, so I would very much appreciate if you would support me by hitting that subscribe button below. And also watch some of my old videos. If you're newer here, um, there's quite a bit of content to watch. I have over 100 videos in the backlog. So feel free to go through, watch those, comment on them, share them with your friends and family that are interested in the same thing, and all of those fun things. So I am doing some bulk filming today. So you're probably going to see the same exact outfit. Um, I just have a lot going on during the week. So getting filming done is really hard. I try to do like one filming a day. So it's not all the same, but Sometimes it's just a little bit too hard, and this is one of those times. So, today's video is going to be a pretty quick just reveal of an item that my husband purchased. As you can see, we have already opened it, um, but when we were opening it, I was just going to do like a review of all of his items in June. Um, for those of you that know, my husband loves bright colored things that remind him of his childhood and he's really really big into the pride collections that some of these uh, designers put out so um, obviously this is going to be a pride item so I was just going to do a big collection in June show all of his bags again um, and I have a I have a handful of things myself um, but when I was unboxing this or he was on we were doing it in the car on the way to my niece's birthday party yesterday because um, it was in our mailbox when we were leaving and it was so well packaged, I just had to share it. So, um, without further ado, here it is. And we put it back together the way it came. Um, it was kind of like tagged together, these two separate bags. Um, but we did break the tags off so we could look. But the first thing it came with is this. And I'm like, well, what? This looks like a dust bag. And this isn't an item that I would expect to come with a dust bag. But it is, in fact a Coach Boutique dust bag. And before I go any further, this was an item that was purchased at the outlet on the reserve section. So this is a boutique item that we got at the outlet. I know a lot of people have talked about it. Uh, they went out of stock, but then they came back and he was able to snag one. So it came with a dust bag, which for what the item is, I just didn't realize it would. So that was really cool. And then that's all, I've already taken the item out. Um, I like these packaging. Um, they are very earth friendly. It's recycled paper fibers inside. So um, when you open them, there's always going to be a very small pull tab on the back. Open it with that and you're not going to get the flies everywhere. Um, whereas if you cut through it, you're going to expose all those paper fibers that are basically insulation and it's going to go everywhere. So always use the pull tab. I've seen other YouTubers open items from Coach and make comments about the, the paper that goes flying. So that's a great tip. So here's the item. Here's how it came. All packaged up really well. This probably shows what it is, yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what it is if you are curious. So here it is, all wrapped up. So you pull it out. Now yesterday, since it was fresh in here, it was a little harder to get out. But um, it comes right out. It's wrapped in styrofoam. And it's like quadruple protected because because when you pull it out, it's also wrapped in this, like, felt material, almost. This is not styrofoam, but it's more of like a really soft felt. Um, so I do like that a lot. And it's taped up, of course. But you can just slide the item out. Probably Nope, you can't. Because this is, this is how it was all done yesterday. Um, the little tie thing goes through it. So this definitely was a 100% brand new item, not a return, not something that was sent to a store ever. Um, this most definitely um, is an untouched item from Coach, which that's one thing I like about Coach. They really package their stuff well. And I do wish sometimes that some of the other luxury designers would take note and kind of do the same thing because having stuff sent and all of this amazing packaging just makes it arrive safer. Um, and when you're spending as much money as we do on some of these luxury items, um, I think that's very necessary. So here it is. It is the shoulder strap 
uh, pride link leather chain. And you will also notice that between every single link is foam because they want to protect it. And I just, again, think that that is so cool that they go through and, you know, not just the time it takes for someone, whoever's packaging these. Sorry, I'm not looking at you because I'm trying to get this off. You know, it takes time for the people packaging them. It obviously costs Coach more money because they have to pay for the materials. But things arrive safe. Things tend to arrive in better condition from Coach. So I know that maybe it kind of takes away from the glamour of an unboxing, like from Louis Vuitton, for example. But here's the thing. Yes, does it annoy me sometimes to have to take all this paper off? And does it sometimes maybe take away from the, like the, the art, like the glamour of the item? Maybe. But here's the thing. It arrives safely. I know that it's been taken care of along the way. So for me, I think it would be a nice thing. Gucci probably does the best of the luxury houses that I've ordered from and had shipped to me. Um, you guys watch my unboxing of my Ophidia top handle back there and it was packaged really well. Um, it had, you know, a lot of stuffing inside. It was wrapped in tissue paper. It was in the dust bag. Now the actual box that it came with was beat up because it was sliding around in a shipping box that was too big and there wasn't enough paper around the box to keep it from moving. So that was um, a little frustrating, but oh look. They even put a little cover on the little coach metal hang tag. How cute is that? I'm sorry, guys. My allergies are going nuts. So here it is. Obviously, it has the tag hanging on it. This is the um, longer strap. It retails for $195 US, $240 Canadian. And of course, this was a retail item. So that was the actual price. This is not a outlet item that was never priced that way. Um, and it basically, for the most part, has two of every color. So black, brown, blue, pink, white, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. But then it only has one purple, which I don't love, personally. Um, I wish there was one more link of purple just to make it even. It kind of drives me crazy. Um, but here it is. It's super pretty. Um, it has the antique brass dog hood cl clasps so you can put it on um, and I wanted to show you because I was talking in a, one of our chats that we have about how I didn't snag it originally and my husband wanted it and I was upset that I didn't get it because he has this bag and this bag came with a decorative strap that probably could be used as a little top handle but it's smaller and um, I think it was Dawn said she didn't know it came in a smaller one and I was like yeah it does um, I was like, it's one of every color instead of two. But then I started thinking maybe I was crazy. Uh, but I was not crazy. So here is the size difference between the one that came with that bag um, and the one that we bought. So it's probably about a third longer, maybe. Yeah, probably about a third longer. Um, so like I said, typically it's two of every color except purple. And this one is exactly one of every color. But these are really, really fun. This one is more, like I said, of a shoulder strap or a crook of the arm strap, whereas this one is definitely just more decorative um, and or maybe a top handle, depending on what bag you put it on. One thing I love about Coach, most of their straps are detachable. You can mix and match them. You can do all sorts of things. This strap could go on any bag that I have that has the ability to connect a strap. Um, so I could put it on, you know, some of the rings on my Prada bags and let it dangle. Um, I thought about somehow trying to figure out how to hook it on my um, tote bag and just kind of having it dangling there because it's cute. It could go on that coach bag. Heck, I could even put it on my Chanel bags if I wanted to. So that's something I really like about coach. But I did want to share this because this was just so well packaged and such a great deal. Um, I believe he paid around 70 ish dollars for it, 70 80 bucks. Um, like I said, on the reserve at the website. Um, our local outlet, I believe, had a couple and that's when I didn't buy them, and it was a whole thing. So I was glad that he was able to snag it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, these, I think these straps are just so unique, and I'm gonna hold up the smaller one because it's easier to show you. I just think these straps are so unique. These are a lot of craftsmanship. 
this is a really neat idea for a leatherware company to use leather to make a chain link strap. So I think they're really cool and I love the pride colors. I think they're gorgeous. So let me know what you guys think. And like I said, this was a short video, but um, thank you so much. And actually, before I go, I'm going to do one thing. So here it is. So here it is on this bag. Um, and I don't know what this bag is called. I think he had this bag when I did my collection last year, but if not, you'll see it again here in a couple months. Um, but here it is on the bag. It's definitely longer than this one. It's more of a, for me, since I'm a, I have man shoulders and I'm not skating, it doesn't really work for a shoulder bag, but it'd be a good cr uh, crook of the arm or obviously a good top handle. But for some people who are smaller, especially because their arms aren't as big as mine typically. Um, I think that this would be absolutely perfect. So, yes, love it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next video and um, have a good day. Bye.